Well, tonight it's my honor and a privilege to introduce our speaker tonight, Dr. James Chestnut. Around the world, in the United States, Australia, France, Norway, Italy, Spain, and the list is growing and growing. His first degree is a Bachelor of Education in Physical Education. His second is a Master's of Science in Exercise Physiology. That allows him to interpret and collect the research that is out there. As I've mentioned, this material is changing lives. He is speaking about your daughter and your son and your parents and perhaps your future children because you make the change now, you get to change the future generations. When you see him speak, it comes from a very personal place because it is. Could you please help me in, and join me in welcoming Dr. James Chestnut. Hi, my name is Dr. James Chestnut and I'm the developer of the Innate Lifestyle Program. I want to take a few minutes to explain to you not only what the Innate Lifestyle Program is, but also why I developed it. I've been studying uh, human health and wellness and sickness for over 25 years now. And my research has, well really the Innate Lifestyle Program is, is the product of those 25 years of research. When I started out, I knew there was two questions I had to answer if I was going to be able to help people. The first one is I had to figure out why people are so sick. Why are human beings so sick? Why are we now the sickest species on the planet? Why do we have more chronic illness now, more obesity, more diabetes, more heart disease, more cancer, more infertility, more acid reflux, more indigestion? I could go on and on. Less energy. Uh, why are human beings suffering with all these problems in an age where it seems that we have more, tech, more technology, more testing, more medicine, more drugs, more surgeries than we've ever had before and yet we're sicker every year? I had to first figure out that paradox. After I figured that out, that allowed me then to move on and figure out how we could get well and stay well. You see, the biggest issue is if we don't understand why we're sick, we can't figure out the cause of our problems, we're never going to come up with a logical or, or, or a valid solution. What I discovered was that we are sick because of how we eat, move, and think. We are sick because of our lifestyle choices. We're sick because of the environment we've created for ourselves. Human beings are not sick because we're born with bad genes. We're not sick because of bad luck. And we're not sick with chronic illness because of bad germs. The single greatest threat to your health and, to, and the health of those that you love, including your children, is chronic illness. 80% of the people watching this, 80%, eight out of 10 people that you will meet in your lifetime will die of chronic illness. Over half of you, over half of you watching this are overweight or obese. Less than 3% of the people that will watch this or in the world, in Western society, in the industrial society, less than 3% actually have a lifestyle, eat, move and think in ways that are genetically compatible, allowing them to express their potential for health and vitality, for longevity, for quality of life, for energy, for sex drive, for enjoyment, less than 3%. Are you as healthy and energetic as you want and deserve to be? Or are you unhealthy and sick and tired? Do you have the body shape and body image that you want? Or are you overweight and out of shape and unhappy when you look in the mirror? Do you go to bed and fall asleep easily and wake up well rested? Or do you have trouble getting to sleep and wake up tired? Are you as happy and relaxed as you want to be? Or are you unhappy and stressed out a lot of the time? Do you understand what food choices are healthiest and do you find it easy to make these healthy choices? Do you understand what physical activity and exercise patterns are required to be healthy and well? And do you find it easy to maintain those activity patterns? Do you understand how important your thoughts and attitudes are in terms of determining your health? Do you fully understand that, th that your thoughts and attitudes are your choice? And do you find it easy to make good choices in this area? Have you tried other programs in the past but haven't been able to maintain or sustain the results? If you haven't answered these questions the way that you want, then clearly what you need is change, lifestyle change. And that's exactly why I created the Innate Lifestyle Program. One of the gifts I was given by my upbringing, which was um, with a PhD biologist living on a hobby farm where my mom ran a horse boarding stable and spent most of my time either on a small farm and out in the wilderness fishing and camping, is that I had a perspective from very early on that I was an animal species. And, and I also understood very early on that when I saw other animal species in peril uh, and getting sick or going extinct, that it was always due to environmental issues. It was never due to genetic issues. 
but we don't we never blame genes uh, for an animal species getting sick and yet somehow we've come to this ridiculous belief system that human beings are sick because of our genes and as I started to study and we're getting sicker and sicker in very short periods of time especially since the 1950s chronic illness rates are on an exponential increase it can't be genes because our genes haven't aren't going through any any significant changes in that short period of time so that was the big aha moment for me which was I, I stepped back from what was the prevailing belief system and said well, you know, wow it's it cannot be genes it doesn't make any sense that our illness rates are going like this but our genes are gene changes like this virtually none uh, we can't blame genes chiropractic fits into wellness wellness doesn't fit into chiropractic chiropractic is an integral part of a, of a wellness model and chiropractors are perfect uh, the, the original concepts of chiropractic are a perfect marriage with the concept of wellness because both are about restoring function and, and, and finding out and studying and through science what it takes to express potential rather than what it takes to treat the effects of illness. And that's medicine's role, chiropractic's role is to find out what we need to express our potential. When people are dying because of how they eat, move, and think, they are committing suicide with their lifestyle choices and they keep getting told that they're sick because of bad luck or bad germs or bad genes and the truth is they're not. They're sick because of bad choices and until they change those choices it doesn't matter how many drugs they take or how many body parts they get removed with surgery or how many other surgical procedures they have they have no chance of being well and they have no chance of teaching their children how to be well and that is extraordinarily motivating for me and it, um, I just I cannot rest uh, until people hear the truth.